now we shift gears and uh, focus on matters of uh, uh, publishing and in, in light of that publishing in the digital era what are the challenges given that kenyans their reading culture is not so impressive and that kenyans have embraced technology and have opted to read and consume what is online so what are the publishing companies locally doing to reinvent themselves do in this digital era joining us is the md from uh, longhorn publishers that is maxwell bahome welcome thank you Regina. such a mouthful yeah <laughs> yes <laughs> well let, let's yeah. now uh, we've moved from matters of fuel yes. but before we get to matters publishing yes. uh, and publishing what is your take on the current uh, fuel uh, price crisis uh, i would just hope for a quick resolution of the matter because uh, not only does it lower uh, productivity, it has a ripple effect on our production costs. Okay. Now thinking of 16% uh, 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 VAT, what that means to our production costs, it means higher costs uh, of printing our books, uh, distributing our products, and the impact to our staff. So we can expect a lot of engagement with, uh, with unions when it comes to uh, staff compensations. Mm -hmm. So the effect will be felt for a very long time. So I really hope it can be resolved, probably shelved for another two years, and uh, give us at least time to get uh, economy back on track. Uh -huh. yes. Very well said. Now, um, mm. um, when we've seen that, uh, if we can just go back and look at the performance of mm. Longhorn uh, publishers, mm. we see there was a, was a dip uh, in mm. sales of 24% mm. and also that affected mm. uh, the after tax to 16%. So, mm. from where you stand, mm. what are the rebound strategies mm. that you're going to employ mm. to ensure that you get back to profitability? Okay. So, I just a, a slight correction. Mm -hmm. We actually posted one of the, had one of the best years uh, mm. that we've had in a very long time. Okay. Okay. Uh, our turnover uh, grew by around 16%. Um, at half year, our position had, uh, had been exactly what you had uh, reflected. Mm -hmm. We had a drop in turnover at half year, but the full year results ended 30th June. Uh, we managed to, to rebound, and we had a quite an impressive performance mm -hmm. in the second half uh, of the year, which is the, uh, the earlier part of this calendar year. So we managed to grow our profit from around 133 million in the previous year, 30th June 2017, to now 183 million. So that, that's an open 38% mm -hmm. improvement in profit and 17% growth in turnover. So I think we've we, we've. We, we've moved against the tide. Uh -huh. yes. Now that you've mentioned that you've yes. moved against the tide, we're yes. saying when we say publishing, people mm -hmm. think books. And mm. when people think books, they're thinking, who's reading anymore? Yes. But we still have the newspapers yes. around. So people mm. do indeed consume um, hard copy, yes. hard copy publications. Yes. But what are the challenges that are uh, of publishing mm -hmm. in this digital era? Yes. And how are you re reinventing yourself mm -hmm. as a publishing company to mm -hmm. go with the times? Yes. So I, I think there are mixed feelings when, you say, when people say Kenyans don't have a reading culture. When you think about the amount of time Kenyans spend on the phone, you wake up and the first thing you check is the WhatsApp before you greet your spouse. That shows you you're actually reading something. Mm -hmm. So what needs, what, what uh, we as publishers on, specifically long home publishers are busy working on, is to make sure that wh whatever you're reading is actually our content, or content that, that grows and develops people. And that's the reason why we've been so aggressive in our digital strategy. And uh, that would ensure that different kinds of content is available, is available for, uh, for, uh, for all ages, people from all ages. So not just the people who are in school, so that uh, people between the ages of 7 and, and 18, but also you and me, can I get something that uh, uh, will be able to grow me as a person? Uh, we talk about over 200 million Kiswahili speakers. How good is our Swahili? Mm -hmm. We will always want to learn something in Swahili. So there's, I think, a lot, uh, a lot of room for growth and uh, learning in that market. So you're going to be leveraging yeah. on, uh, on technology Definitely. to push your products? Well, when you look at uh, uh, the biggest development in, in terms of digital space, it's mobile technology. The key learning trends is through mobile learning. So ensuring that our content is available through the mobile platforms and uh, leveraging on the existing uh, platforms that we've developed over the last two years. One of the yeah. major uh, uh, challenges in publishing and also when in the arts, yeah. it's the issue of piracy. Yes. How has that affected business mm -hmm. and what are you doing to ensure that it does not continue mm -hmm. affecting business, if at all it has? Piracy will continue affecting the industry. 
I, I would say the, we're working closely with the government to ensure that uh, we eradicate uh, this vice. Uh, specifically, we're working with the Kenya Copyrights Board, who've been quite helpful in, 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 in at least alleviating this problem, though it's, it's still there. I'd say as an industry, uh, we would lose around 30% uh, of the industry's uh, turnover. But Longhorn has gone further to make sure that uh, we minimize the impact to our company. We've invested in security tags for our products, we call it a cheat tag, which is a SMS-based uh, verification uh, system where you can ver validate mm -hmm. the authenticity of your book. And with this, we've seen uh, a reduction in, in, the, in, the, in piracy, specifically through, I mean, you can directly link that to the growth in, in sales for mm -hmm. the affected products. Mm -hmm. So I think there's, there's progress, and we hope we can eradicate it completely in this, in this country. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, we know Longhorn Publishers mm -hmm. had, uh, had an ambitious plan to expand into Africa. Mm -hmm. You already have subsidiaries in, uh, let's say, Tanzania, Uganda, mm -hmm. and uh, towards the end of last year, yeah. I think if I'm wrong, you had assigned yeah. uh, mm -hmm. partnerships with Senegal mm -hmm. and the other, the other countries. So yes. how, does, um, how, how do we compare as mm -hmm. Kenya mm -hmm. to your other subsidiaries mm -hmm. in terms of business? Kenya is the largest market. Uh, also, you, you have to go down and check the literacy levels in the country are quite high compared to other African countries. So uh, Kenya is uh, still at the top, but there are a number of other African countries that are picking up. We have presence in Uganda, Tanzania, Rwanda, and now some of our bigger export markets where mm -hmm. we don't have a physical presence, but we have presence through distributors, Zambia, Malawi, and now uh, recently Senegal. I would say in another few, four or five years, they will be as big as Kenya. But the key thing is uh, providing country-specific content. Mm -hmm. And that's what we've been in the forefront of doing. Uh -huh. yeah. as, we, as, we, as we come uh, towards mm -hmm. the close, I uh, would want to know, like, what is the future of publishing, especially mm -hmm. in the digital space? Mm -hmm. And having taken mm -hmm. reins from mm -hmm. the former MD, mm -hmm. what is, you, what is mm -hmm. the vision that mm -hmm. you have for Longhorn mm -hmm. Publishers? Vision for Longhorn is... Um, situation where we are a significant chunk of our revenue is generated from the digital platforms. Now, digital, in addition to, uh, when, you, when you look at Longhorn's contribution to, for example, the, uh, the uh, sustainable development goals, other than uh, ensuring that there's education, conserving the environment. Now, the more we move our, our education towards the digital front, the more we conserve the environment. So we've developed platforms. We have specifically the Longhorn e-reader uh, platform, the Longhorn and our Kamusi Yakiswahili app, mm -hmm. which you can access uh, uh, from anywhere in the world. So that means anybody from anywhere in the world can access our, our mm -hmm. content. Mm -hmm. So that ensures that education is available to all. And you can quickly ensure, you can quickly change your content whenever you want to. So make your, your content relevant at any point in time. And now mobile platforms, ensuring that you have content available from both your smartphone or your feature phone. So that is a feature of publishing. That is a feature of publishing. Uh -huh. what, yeah. what is your take on the computerization program mm. by government? Uh, mm. This is one way or another going mm. to support uh, uh, publishing now that uh, publishers mm. are moving mm. onto the digital platform. Mm. It will go hand in hand. Uh, the key thing is not really the device itself, it's the content that is in there. The content has to be relevant and the content has to be much more than a book in soft copy. Uh, as Longhorn, when you look at the kind of content we have in all our platforms, it's interactive content that is very different. It supplements uh, or complements your, your, your book. So you'll actually need both but you can t cater for various uh, levels of learning uh, through a digital platform. That's what you're doing. And the change of mm -hmm. curriculum, mm -hmm. do you find it uh, uh, detrimental? You know, when one, when yeah. one way, then all mm -hmm. of a sudden it changes. What's yeah. your take on the change of curriculum? I, I think it's the best thing that uh, happened. We're now looking at a competence-based curriculum. I think you've had employers over the last many years complaining that the quality of graduates that uh, you're churning out from your system are uh, very uh, knowledge based so they, they only they cannot be able to implement uh, whatever they've learned uh, in their workplaces but now with the new curriculum you're talking about building skill and the, a lot of the books that we've now developed are activity based so that makes it uh, more interactive for the kids and fun to read 
So you're about to see a change in, uh, in the learning culture. People will want to read and enjoy reading. Uh -huh. yes. Very well said. If you just join us, that has been the CEO of uh, Longhorn Publishers saying that uh, indeed in this digital era that publishing, the future of publishing is in digital. Given that every, he's given an analogy that most of us, you and I, that before you even say hi to the persons in your home, you'd quickly run to your WhatsApp or Facebook. Indeed, content, it depends on what you're reading, provided you're reading. I'm Regina Manyara-Gital, and you have been watching Business Defined. Let us do this tomorrow.